Hello guys, this is Kshita Sangha here again. So in this video, I'll be appending the last part uh, or my last project, something out of a mini project. So in that project, I scraped this National Stock Exchange of India website and I got five columns from this website. Means from put side, I got OI, change in OI, then the strike price column. And from the put side, I got this change in OI and this OI. So I wanted five columns. Uh, but actually, my friend wanted the top five values from the uh, call OI and its corresponding values for strike and put OI. And again, the top five values from this OI of the put side and its corresponding values from for strike price and OI from the call side. So this is what my uh, friend wanted. Uh, so in the last video, I stored these five columns into an Excel sheet, but in uh, but after uh, after a week later, means today, I worked on this project because I was having my exams. Uh, so I just completed this code and uh, this time I just got the top 5 values from this column, top 5 values from this column and its corresponding values for this as I just said. And I added one feature into it, means I just converted my program, Python program into an executable file. So let me just show you my previous code. So this is what my program is and I just uh, added some few files, okay. Uh, sorry for your few code of lines. Okay, uh, so uh, again, my friend said that he just doesn't uh, escape the uh, data from this nifty for nifty. So he wants uh, all the data means same data for bank nifty as well as for ICICI bank. So I just put up uh, three links into the program. So if you want, you can add as much number of uh, links from this website into the program. If you want all of it, you can add all of it. But he just uh, needed the three uh, three links. So in the program, I just added three links. Here are the links. So let me show you the executable file. So this is how the executable file looks like. Okay. So let me show you how it runs. Sorry. Okay. Is a terminal. And here's how it works. Simultaneously. So let me pause the video and I just skip to the end when the programs get executed. Okay. So this is my folder and there's no file, Excel file here. After the program, you will get the file and I'll just show you. For time being, I just skip this. Bye bye. Okay. Forget about the skipping. I'll just show you how the program goes. So here's my terminal. So it's reading the number of lines on this page. As I mentioned, the previous video so just scan the first site for nifty so this is uh, now for bank nifty here is it here is it bank nifty scan this website and hmm, could be done by 85 i guess yeah pretty sure so it's done for the second site and yeah here is it this is for the last site and which is for for this is for last site so we are done the file has been saved the task been complete, completed so let me show you in the folder so here's the file it's been stored according to the date so let me open it Here's the data. So I've created three sheets. The first one for the first link, second one for the second link, third one for the third link. So it has been sorted automatically. Uh, previously, I just created three separate files for this, but later I just got to know that I can make sheets in it. So here's the data. Let me show you. Um, let me see. Yeah. So here are the top five values for call side OI. And these are the top five values for the put side OI. And yeah, uh, there's there are some kind of concepts regarding the total OI, the total put OI. And yeah, this is PCR. I don't know what this PCR is. I guess it's a ratio of uh, call OI and put OI. I don't know what that is. I'm not that pretty sure. Yeah, so this is what the data is. Uh, this is the same for all the three sheets. Second sheet, bank nifty. And the third sheet, I say, say bank. So here's how my program works. This is all for the 
today's video. Let's see you. Bye-bye.